What's up guys, TGM here, back with you with another video and today we are doing a super villain spotlight. And in this super villain spotlight, we are doing it on Cheetah. Now, there were four different versions of Cheetah uh, in the comics. We have Priscilla Rich, who appeared in Wonder Woman number 6, 1943. Deborah Dominique, uh, Deborah Domaine, uh, who appeared in Wonder Woman number 274 in 1980. Dr. Barbara Ann Minerva, who we'll be talking about, in, uh, who appeared in Wonder Woman uh, Volume 2, Number 7, in 1987, and Sebastian Ballestros, uh, who appeared in Wonder Woman Volume 2, Number 170, in 2001. Now, like I said, we will be focusing on uh, Barbara Ann Minerva, Dr. Barbara Ann Minerva, because she is probably the, probably the most, most well known uh, version of Cheetah uh, throughout the comics. Now, her powers uh, include uh, enhanced senses, like a sense of smell, sight, hearing, uh, stuff like this, much, much like Wolverine's. Uh, she has superhuman reflexes and superhuman strength. Uh, she has razor sharp claws that can, you know, tear into skin and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, so basically think Wolverine as well. Uh, she has super speed that was at one point comparable that to the Flash. Uh, she actually did a team up with Zoom and uh, actually fought Flash with super speed. So her powers have waxed and waned over the years, but uh, overall she is Wonder Woman's most deadliest foe. Uh, her former occupation was an uh, archeologist. She comes from a long line of archeologists. Uh, so she is a well esteemed and she used to be well, she used to be well known and well esteemed family of archeologists. Uh, her powers come from a god called Uzkar Targa, uh, whether you or not the, her powers are considered a blessing or a curse, it's definitely a matter of perspective. But uh, she used to be able to go from human to cheetah, uh, but now she's sort of stuck in that form, in her cheetah form. Uh, whether that's good or bad or not, like I said, it's up to interpretation. Now, uh, one, we've seen many, many fights through with one woman throughout the years. Uh, Coming, uh, being in one form uh, a foe and others an ally so uh, she's sort of like a friend of me most of the time uh, Diana wants to help her uh, remove the curse uh, from uh, Dr. Bernerva uh, but she sometimes will act more human in one in one instance in one uh, writing and more animalistic in another so it's much like the Hulk where she may act more civilized in one version and in another version she acts more brutish so it depends on the writer now speaking of rich uh, i'll give you some reading recommendations to uh, give you an idea of what her character is like so we have first of all her first appearance in uh, uh as, as dr minerva uh, wonder woman by george perez's run is an excellent read uh, wonder woman by greg rucka both the pre and during Rebirth, so he has two runs. He has uh, one that was before Rebirth and during his Rebirth, uh, during, during the Rebirth uh, run. So any one of those would be great. Uh, there's a couple other appearances like uh, Gail Simone's and uh, other other runs here and there, but those are the main ones I would recommend. All right, guys, so that is it. That's it for Super Villain Spotlight this week. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and ring that notification bell down on the bottom so that way you're notified about my newest videos uh, that are coming soon guys i have great stuff lined up for you guys all right guys we'll see you guys later take care bye